On August 9th, 1997, Amtrak train number 4, the Southwest Chief, departed Los Angeles with its final destination of Chicago, Illinois. The train had four engines leading, all of them P-42s, with Amtrak 47 leading it, 50, 80, and 52. Behind the train was a baggage car, nine superliner cars, 312 passengers, and a crew of 18. The train departed Los Angeles at 8.30 that night. At 5 a.m., the train approached Kingman, Arizona, with the weather looking very severe and terrible. More than an inch of rain dropped per second, but this wasn't stopping the train from reaching its destination. Suddenly, there was trouble ahead. The crew members noticed a dip in the track and immediately throw the train into emergency braking. And then, all of a sudden, the train derails. The train derails at 5.56 a.m., traveling at 89 miles per hour. Because of this, some of the superliner cars go tumbling off into the embankment down below. And because of this, people struggle to get out of the passenger cars. Luckily, nobody was killed during the wreck. 173 passengers and 10 Amtrak employees were injured. But the real question was, how can this cause such a freak accident to happen? What was the cause? An investigation by the NTSB was launched, finding out that the cause was due to flash flood. Though we could blame Mother Nature for this accident since she controls everything, but moments ago, a westbound freight train had passed by the bridge without any problems. Also, an unknown dude who worked for BNSF began his inspection around 4 o'clock in the morning. Since it was dark, he couldn't really see whether the bridge was fine or not. After a few minutes of investigating the bridge, or inspecting it if you want to call it, he just sat there and said it was okay. After the wreck was cleaned up, the locomotives went back to service. Although 47 was later involved in the head-on collision in Case, South Carolina, which it was totaled and scrapped, 80 would be involved in the vehicle strike, but it would be repaired and returned to service to continue its career. 50 and 52 were the Heartland Big Flyers on the side of their locomotives, though 52 no longer wears it and 50 takes control over it. It's been a lot since this wreck happened, and it's one of Amtrak's deadliest crash. Not compared to the Big Bayou though, which was more deadly.